The fifth and final business item is a share owner proposal, as I mentioned, seeking the establishment of a separate board committee on human rights. Mr. Wardlaw is here today, the proponent. Thank you for being here to present the proposal. We ask that you keep your presentation, please, to three minutes. Please present the proposal, Mr. Wardlaw. <clears throat> Hello, my name is William C. Wardlaw III. Uh, I've learned so much today that, uh, Mr. Kent, I may need three and a half minutes or three minutes and 15 seconds, maybe. Please go ahead. Okay. Um, realistically, I request that we have a committee uh, of our board specifically focused on human rights can only be accomplished by you, the board, uh, so I'll address my remarks to you. Consider how quickly and dramatically world events unfold. In 1994, South Africa was still living under the seemingly unmovable heel of apartheid. But later in the 90s, I happened upon a radio report, I was up in Maryland, mentioning a building named for my father, the William C. Wardlaw Building, that forms the south end of Georgia Tech's football stadium. Here he comes, emerging from the Wardlaw building, Nelson Mandela. What? The indigenous hero of South African liberation struggles imprisoned for 27 years by the apartheid regime was now the president of South Africa and a hero throughout the world wherein Coca-Cola does business. A human rights committee of our board would not only have welcomed Mandela, but would not have for so many years refused to join the worldwide boycott that helped the people of South Africa overthrow their criminal regime. My point, events in the world are moving so quickly that we desperately need a human rights committee of our board empowered to keep on top of those events so that our company can move more quickly and doing the right thing and getting on the right side of history. Of course, as I'm sure Mr. Buffett and many of you understand, if we don't reverse the warming of our planet, nothing else is going to matter. In transportation, refrigeration, so many areas, we must do everything we possibly can. And I understand, Mr. Kent, that your suggestion that Coca-Cola is already on top of these issues, uh, I understand that, but widespread worldwide attention to Coke's recent human rights failures, uh, I believe, tells us otherwise. Continuing racial bias on occasion in our workforce, uh, murders of union organizers and Coca-Cola bottling plants, Disastrous results in India and elsewhere from Coca-Cola bottling plants drawing so much water in arid areas that villagers' wells go dry. May something equivalent to slingshot and your eco-centers come there quickly. Most importantly, a carefully chosen Human Rights Commission of the Board, including people of the stature of Senator Dunn, will remind you of something that students around the world are telling us, just about through, as they ban all Coca-Cola products from their campuses. Consumers don't make a distinction. They do not make a distinction between the Coca-Cola company and Coca-Cola bottlers. Thank you, members of the board. And again, Mr. Williams, thank you for hearing me out again. Thank you, um, Mr. Wardwell. Thank you um, for your interest in the company, for raising these issues. Um, let me just say that human rights, workplace rights, environment, sustainability are highest priorities for the Coca-Cola company. Let me just address human rights first and I'll come back to the environment. We have several programs and processes in place to help ensure that we do live up to the standards established by our workplace rights policy, human rights statement, global mutual respect policy, supplier guiding principles, um, 
Our policies are totally inconsistent with the United Nations Universal Declaration of uh, Human Rights, with the ILO's Declaration of Fundamental Principles, and also um, the guiding principles on business and human rights. Fully in line with that. Um, as far as the specific request to form a new board committee, the Coca-Cola company today already has, the board already has such a board committee that reviews the very issues raised in this proposal. That committee is the, called the Public Issues and Diversity Review Committee that is ably chaired by Secretary Alexis Herman. That's, those are the reasons why the Board of Directors recommends a vote against this proposal regarding a separate committee, because all of the issues that you mentioned are top of mind for that committee. As far as the environment is concerned, if we didn't think like you, we would not have been the first company in the world to commit to HFC-free refrigeration around the world by 2015. The first company to put their hand under the stone for, for that aggressive goal. We wouldn't have had the largest fleet of hybrid trucks already on the roads in the United States if we didn't believe that. We would not have made that commitment to be water neutral given the amount of water we use in the world water neutral by 2020, and it is not for us to tell everyone about the results. Those results are audited independently every year. We would not have, if we didn't believe in the communities around the world and how important it is to create sustainable communities and raise awareness of people for the environment, we would not have committed to empowering five million women, the biggest such program in the world, Nothing comes close to it in terms of size and scope. Five million women empowerment program by 2020. So we share your concerns about the environment fully. And as far as human rights are concerned, we take every, every allegation very seriously, thoroughly investigate every allegation. And the committee that I just mentioned to you, ably chaired by Secretary Alexis Herman is responsible to fully put out a, a clear result of any investigation that is related to such issues. So that is the reason why we uh, are, are saying that the Board of Directors recommends a vote against the proposal regarding such a committee. Uh, and again, I invite everyone, please, to read more about our position on the share owner proposal on this chair on a proposal in our proxy statements, pages 95 and 96. Thank you, Mr. Wardlaw. We appreciate your longstanding investment and also interest in our company. And happy to continue to engage with you uh, on any, uh, any matter.